pure evil. I mean, that's the best way to describe this whole entire situation. And, you know, this has very eerie resemblance to what we saw when people were getting denied, you know, different organ transplants and all that because why? They refused to take the vax. And, and now, criticizing a flag apparently now warrants you losing your ability to receive cancer treatment. We're going to dive in and discuss all of it here in just a second. Welcome, everybody. To not by sight news. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always to walk by faith, not by sight. And well, for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Hey, do me a huge favor as well. Hit that like button. It really helps us in the algorithms getting these videos out to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell, subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And if you guys could as well, consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to help support what I do. Couple of ways you could do that. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation. You can select any amount you want. Really easy to do here from the main video page. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. When you guys sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You're also going to get the alerts for all the videos, which is not something you're going to get with just the YT notifications. You can comment censorship free on all videos and send me direct messages. So I encourage you to check it out. Patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You know, this is just outright evil. And uh, for one woman here who lives in Oregon, um, her name is just going by Marlene. Uh, she's obviously being protected for you know, her own safety at this point, because uh, in the light of which this whole entire situation has really evolved now and turned into, Marlene had been receiving cancer treatment at the uh, Portland Health uh, and University Hospital and, well, the Health and Science University Hospital. And everything seemingly was going fine until it wasn't. Now, here at this hospital, you have to understand, right upon entry, as soon as you walk in the main entrance, there it is on display for everybody to see, the trans flag. And well, Marlene took exception to this. She did not like the fact that the hospital was promoting that entire agenda, and she sent several messages to the hospital criticizing them for having that flag up there, and she wanted it removed. Now, again, this is just her voicing her, you know, opposition to a flag. She doesn't think it should be on display. Let people come into the hospital, get the treatment they need. Stop trying to promote an agenda. I know what a horrible crime on Marlene's part to do that, right? But that's not what the hospital, well, actually, yeah, the hospital does think it's a crime actually, because the message that they sent back to Marlene, um, and I'll show you some correspondence of this. I'll put a link in the description um, and you guys can check it out. But the hospital apparently was so offended that Marlene would dare to criticize them for having this flag out there, that they told Marlene, it might be in your best interest to go ahead and get some re-education training on how to be a better ally to the trans community. That's what they told her. And when Marlene told them, uh, I'm not going to be doing that, re-education, no, no, I'm perfectly educated, fine, just the way that I am. Well, the hospital said that I think it would be in the best interest of both parties if we just stopped your cancer treatment altogether, and you seek treatment somewhere else. See, this is where we've gotten now. Remember, and I said this at the top. Remember, people were getting denied organ transplants, right? Whether it's kidney, liver, whatever. And I reported on a bunch of those stories. And by the way, that wasn't just the United States. That was all over the globe, right? People that had been on, you know, waiting lists for months, years, waiting on an organ. Their names just taken off the list because they didn't want to get the vax, right? Hospitals would not budge on this. Terrible what they did, right? Denying life-saving, you know, you know, medical treatment here, procedures, because you wouldn't get a vax. But now we've come to the point where if your ideology doesn't match up with a certain hospital, you're going to be denied life-saving medical treatment as well. That's where we are. That's, that, this is now... Not just America in 2023, but the entire world in 2023, okay? Now, Marlene is seeking legal options, and I rightfully so. I hope she sues this hospital into oblivion for it. And apparently, she's getting all sorts of other threats and everything else like that from 
people in the trans community because she dares to speak out about how having the flag there at the, at the entrance of the hospital is wrong. What, you can't take someone else having a different opinion? It really hurts your feelings that bad because of it. And now this woman, and I don't know how far along she was, but cancer's no joke. And for you to just stop treatment like that, I mean, that's detrimental to the patient's health. But they don't care. They don't care at all. You know, there is judgment coming for the wicked. You know, we know this based off what the Bible says. But I'm telling you, there, I, I think there's going to be a special kind of judgment coming for these, for these people who would deny life-saving treatment for people like this. And, you know, and I said this a few years ago when I was reporting on all the stories about people getting denied transplants because they wouldn't take the vax. And I said, we may be soon coming to a time, and I think honestly we're already there now, but we're going to come to a time where we are going to need to rely on Jesus more than ever before. And I'm talking about a supernatural type of faith to where if you need a new organ, he'll give you one. Because if the hospitals are not going to provide you with it, Jesus can. Now, I know that's you know, for, for so long, you know, we have been blessed as a nation in America and in other, in other Western countries, too, to where that would never be something we would even have to consider, right? You have something wrong with you, you go to the hospital, you get it taken care of. But now when that looks like it's starting to be taken away from us, along with all of our other rights, who do we rely on then? Because the politicians aren't going to save you. I'm sorry, but, you know, Trump's not going to save you. All these other people are not going to save you. Only Jesus can. When I'm, that's what I'm saying. That supernatural type of faith. When your only option is God. That changes things a lot, doesn't it? Something that we need to really think about. Because as we continue to progress further and further here into these last days, more and more of these stories are going to be reported. And I hate to say it, but it's going to get a lot worse than even this. You know, when the Antichrist is eventually here ruling and reigning, I mean... You don't bow down to his system. You don't take his mark. You don't live. You don't exist in society. You can forget it. I mean, treatment at a hospital, I mean, you won't be able to buy. You won't be able to sell. Look at Revelation chapter 13. It's important that you stay closer to Jesus now more than ever before. Dark days are here. I'm going to put more information on this down below in the description. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, to keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to leave you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Pray for Marlene as well that there can be a solution to this whole thing, whether the hospital reverses course uh, or, you know, God just, just heals her. I mean, what an incredible testimony that would be uh, of his healing power and us, you know, again, putting that supernatural faith and trust in him. There could be another hospital as well that will end up taking her regardless Pray that this outcome comes in her favor and that she will be healed and restored no matter how it all works out. Also, don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You guys can join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Remember, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link is in the description. And when you sign up to the Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main channel. 
You're also going to get the alerts for all the videos, which is not something you'll get with just the YT notification. So if you guys aren't already a part of the Patreon, I guarantee you're missing a ton of my videos. Or you can simply click the super thanks button down below on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk really soon.